Vatican II called for the full and active participation of the laity. And so there are a lot of ways in which we can participate fully in our celebration of this Mass. Our setting each week probably begins in this room here where a dedicated group of people put together the setting for our church. It's been great. I love dealing with plants, flowers, so I really enjoy it. My kids used to come to school here and uh, since then I started helping with church, uh, you know, ministry, communion and flowers and I really enjoy it. It's just part of my, uh, you know, weekends. I come every, I think once a month we do flowers. Yeah, we roster for flowers and every third week I help with communion, so perfect. Our Mass begins at the door of the church, where we have the opportunity to be hospitable and welcoming to the members of our community. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the choir area, and this is an area that's very, very important to me, probably because I've been excluded from it so many times. In fact, I've been asked to leave three church choirs because my voice just doesn't cut it. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I've been, it's uh, been supported a lot by both the, the choir members and, and the parishioners who listen to all the noise that I make here, um, just fell into it by, by chance. Because when I first came to play, I didn't know what came before which. When somebody said, play the memorial acclamation, I said, what's that? This is after going to church for 30, 40 years. Yes. So okay. it's been a lot of fun. And also that, you know, the engagement, um, paying attention to the scriptures and what music that's appropriate. It's, I've sort of grown, let me put it that way. I've grown in my faith and my understanding through this process. Mm. Not only do you get that sense of fulfillment, but you actually engage with the wider community. You get to know people on a, on a bit more of a personal level. It's a great uh, feeling of communion and community with uh, your parishioners. The ministry of reading and commentating is about proclaiming the Word of God, which is an integral part of our Mass. It's an honour to be able to read and to, pro and to proclaim the Word of God. It scares the living daylights out of me, standing in front of a group of people every single time. But I feel that proclaiming the word is far more important. For me, it's, part, it's about community. It's about bringing the word to the people that I've grown up with, grown up spiritually and in community with. Um, we're all together, we're all here, we're all celebrating the word of God. I'm just, I'm part of that proclamation and it's, it's wonderful to be able to do it in such an inclusive community. A special group of people who serve us is our altar service who do such a wonderful job. Just getting here 10 minutes early uh, before Mass so that there's time to vest up and um, be present in the sacristy to help out. We want our kids to you know, be people of service so we're happy to see that um, yeah, people are cultivating a, an attitude of service uh, for our own kids, so um, hopefully that lasts as long as, as it can and it'll, I'm sure it'll have a lasting impact. I guess the church is about participation. Uh, it's not really just about the priest being up at the centre of things. All the laity are called to participation at whatever level we're, we're able to offer our skills and uh, I think that's a good way that uh, yeah, kids who have had their first communion can, can, uh, can contribute to the liturgy and get involved in the church. A fact of life is that we need to uh, collect money in order to continue our parish mission. And so the service of the collectors during Mass is really important. Now we're going to hear from our communion ministers who continue that service to our community today. Father John was the one who first pushed me into doing it. And uh, I sort of wasn't sure whether I was right for the position to do things like that. But uh, I think it's just taking those steps of doing it and trusting in God, you know. I find it's very peaceful. I find, I, I find a lot of peace just given to me and to the people. And I can pass it on to somebody by praying for them, by giving them Holy Communion, as well as for the little kids, blessing them. This short video that we've seen today shows us how many people serve us to enrich our community each weekend in our celebration of Eucharist. And so we're asking you to consider how you might take part in the Sunday celebration. Just do it. Get on board. Do it. 
that he asked and, and I helped. I know it's a cliche to say come in and give it a try but definitely do so. You really get involved and you really do feel like you're making a difference and helping out at the church that you're serving. That's what makes us the church, it's us being involved.